Hey folks, Starman Jude here with another episode of the Long Dark Survival 758. So at the end of the last episode, I did say I was going to take a couple of days and read the books that I had. Uh, I did. All of them. Except for Guns, Guns, Guns. I'm, I'm holding out on it. Um, so I think I managed to get through probably about three or four days. We'll see how, how long did it. When did I get here? Uh, yeah, I guess it was about three or four days. So we're on day 42-ish, we'll say. Um, and um, so in that time, you know, I read some books. I got some skills up, as you can kind of see. Um, I managed to shoot a deer because I had to do some hunting to make some food. Uh, and of course, I started reading the one book and I got the cabin fever. And so I had to sleep out in a car. Uh, I killed a bear too, but I shot him and then he ran off and then he died outside the house, which I haven't touched him yet. Uh, kind of waiting on it f until I get that level 5 cooking, which I may still yet do um, here soon, but I'm going to leave him there for now. So uh, in this one, uh, I think what I'm, what we're plan is, is that we're going to go back to Mystery Lake, but we're going to first stop at Thompson's Crossing and uh, try to clear that place out first. And uh, then swing back through Pensive Pond, uh, maybe catch something out there, and then we'll uh, head on out through the cave system, up through the Winding River, uh, back to Mystery Lake. And that's probably where we're going to call it. But uh, let me just take a quick stock here on everything I have, because I am carrying the rifle and the revolver, which I probably don't need to carry the rifle um, <laughs> I say that, but I do have the, uh, flare gun with me, so just to, you know, just to save myself the weight, I may just end up dropping that there, so that'll be fine. Um, I'm actually looking pretty good weight-wise anyway, and, um, although I will say that I kind of... I'm in the market to replace these ski gloves with like wool mittens or something. I, I I probably should not have had them as long as I did. I actually dropped the crampons for now. Uh, so I'll kind of talk as I go. Let me grab a pot because I uh, will probably need it. I'll just talk as I go. So to Thompson's Crossing. And here's all my meat. So we're just going to eat one of these things. I'm pretty full as is, but... Uh, Whoops, we're going to head on out. The bear is back over that. Let me get to this side of the thing. Probably see him from here. Uh, where those crows are. You see his body right there. It's between the trees. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I kind of had to defend myself against a couple of wolves that wandered over here. Um, middle of a blizzard, I might add. But uh, I'm not going to touch them either. I'm not really going to make anything out of the hides yet. Uh, if anything, I would just cut up the bear meat and cook it up just to get to my level five. I'm pretty darn close, so, you know, may end up getting it here sooner than I think. One thing I, I try not to do is to go back and rewatch my own videos because I kind of like to not I mean, I guess I, I could just rewatch and see where, where I've been and what I left behind. Uh, call it cheating if you want, but it would definitely, with my lack of uh, note-taking skills <laughs> in this game, like, I don't leave anything in my journal. Like, I don't, like, I just kind of, I'm really much on the fly kind of a player. So, I mean, I guess I could go back because I, I know I left a lot of books back at the office, camp office, but I can't remember which ones exactly. I know I have on at, at least one gunsmithing book. And... You know, I'm going to stop here a second. Let's reload this. Yes, like I said, I had to defend myself against a couple of wolves. I think I killed them both, but... Alright, let's keep that away. We'll just pick, pick, pick. Alright. Now, the idea with Pensive Pond, uh, where we're going to go that way, is uh, there is a chance for a moose spawn out there. There's a couple other places where the moose could spawn in, but that's kind of one of them. There's also, and there might be some good loot out there, too. It never hurts. Uh, the other place there, it would be, is beyond the outbuildings at the, and that birch forest, way right over there. 
I can kind of see it from here, like way over there. Uh, I can't. Thought I heard something. Um, I can't remember what it's called, it's like the lonely house or the lonely homestead or something to that effect. And there usually isn't anything out there. The other place that I would probably want to check out, um, eh, maybe on the swing back, would be uh, the Three Strikes farmhouse. There isn't always a lot out there either, but then, you know, I mean, there's always loot somewhere, and if we're going to last long enough, we're going to eventually have to hit all these spots up. Um, I wonder if it wouldn't be in my, if I shouldn't just go check out the farmhouse right now. May not be a bad idea. Why don't we go do that? We'll just do it right now. I have to also keep in mind that when it comes to making, you know, the gunsmithing stuff, I'm going to need some car batteries to make some bullets. So while I'm here, there's no, <laughs> there's no uh, battery there. But you pull the lead from it. Yeah, we'll take it. Why not? Sure. What do we got? So one thing I always manage to overlook is, well, I'll take the food because it's food. Uh, it's looking in the cars. I, I don't always do it, and I should because, you know, you never know when there's going to be something good in there. I'm going to pull my gun out because there are a couple of wolves that wander around out here. There's a couple of deer there, which is nice. I do have the bow. I could... Uh, take a gander at that i i am gonna need i will tell you now i'm gonna need a lot of practice if you've seen any of my other videos where i attempt to shoot anything with the bow i'm not very good uh probably mostly because when i tried i think i was trying to shoot deer or uh rabbits and that's never really a good option i guess if i really want to do some target practice i'll make a fire make some fire hardened arrows and then go find some ptarmigans and Shoot those things. Okay, so we are in the outbuildings. Okay. Um, anything around here? Dog food. Well, that's, that's great. I'm kind of debating if I want to go out to the Lowy Homestead. Anyway. But let's head to the farmhouse first. There's a wolf right there, but we're going to go in the house and heed him no mind. Oh, there's the other one. If you want, you can do some target practice here. Now, I wish, I know there's a mod that will help you increase your skill when you use that thing, but I don't use mods in this game. Uh, kudos to you if you do, I guess, but I just don't. It's, eh. Base game is fine by me. Scrap metal, I probably should take that with me. Good pork and beans, that's fine. Mm, don't need the newsprint. Yeah, we'll take the flare, sure. Now, there probably... I think there's a chance for a book in here. There might be a guy over here, and he's got a bow with a book, maybe. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. He's got a granola bar, or a candy bar. Wool we'll scarf. Well, we're going to take that and rip it up. So that's okay. Let's look in the truck. Nothing on the floor. I'll take it. Another flare. Hmm, okay. Well, that truck kind of sucked. Not even a battery? Yeesh. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, the other thing I did is I made... Ooh, look, a hammer. I'll take that with me. Um, maybe I'll take the antiseptic with me and mm, put it in, like, a central storage. Maybe back at Mystery Lake or something. Uh, anyway, so I had some extra reclaimed wood, and so I made a couple of snares. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to actually put those things. Uh, whether I keep them at the camp office or I set them up here, and then when I come back, I can, you know, when I look around here, I can go find some stuff, but I haven't decided how I'm going to do that. Ah, rifle cartridge. Uh, the more ammo of that I have, the better. I'm kind of shocked I didn't... Wasn't able, I haven't been able to find any more ammo for that thing. Sorry, I'm just thinking, I'm like, did I grab all of it from the summit? Well, there's more revolver ammo. Okay, that's that's kind of nice. I would love to have rifle ammo first. Okay, that's fine. 
Yes, I know, and we're probably going to end up getting not screwed, but forced to go back to the farmstead to drop stuff off. Eh, that's okay. Dusting sulfur. Yeah, we'll have to take that with us because that's going to have to end up going back to Timberwolf Mountain. <laughs> For some reason, that's where I kept everything. Uh, I think I'm going to leave the Lonely House by its... Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. So we're not gonna, we're just gonna go to Thompson's Cross and kind of keep this, keep the schedule. This, this little trek was a little off schedule as is. So, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, onward. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. That is a deer too, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it, it was moving fast enough to be a deer. Yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna be a, a moose, but God, these deer, it's a, they, they just, you know. The noises they make. And uh, can I cross? Oh, okay, good to know there's old man's beard here. Should I need it? I think I can cross this river without going to the bridge. As I think. Hmm. Maybe not right here. Well, maybe I can. Hi, deer. I'm glad you don't attack. <laughs> like, I mean, as in, like, trample and stuff, because that would be awful. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Deer can be, you know, if they're... There's some pr pretty aggressive ones out there, you know, in, in the real world. I guess anything is, uh, likely to fight back in, you know, that life or death situation, that whole fight or flight bit. Some animals will just, just fight. They'll fight you. Uh, that is a wolf over there. Wolf is just, I don't know. I, I don't know why that bothers that he's over there. I don't know why that bothers me so much. It's, I don't know if I, that's just normal that he's over there. It might be, and I just never noticed. I always stick to the road. It should be like a truck around this bend here. Which we'll check out. Yeah, it's uh, mid-afternoon-ish. Aha. Let's check what the truck got. Uh, okay. A random piece of wood. And nothing. Okay. Well, I was making sure there wasn't anything at my feet. I, I, I didn't think there ever was. Not on the driver's side, anyway. Okay. Uh, breeze is starting to pick up a smidgen. That's okay. I think our first stop might be... Um, probably we'll hit up the, the general store here in town first. Before bouncing it over to the community center. Um, I, I might go through every single house. Just in hopes that I find uh, some wool mittens. Uh, the wool mittens are good. Uh, they're lighter weight. Um, so I think we'll just kind of, we'll go with that. Um, I'm pretty sure I ha I think I have a pair stashed up at the prepper's cache, but I'm not going to trek all the way back up there. Uh, mm, not, not yet anyway. I think I'm holding off on that stuff until I get the Travoy, which, you know, fingers crossed that update, it actually kind of pops in here in the next week. Um... Is that the time of recording this? It is uh, not even December yet, so it's not quite there. <laughs> it's a, it's not going to be 
yeah, it's not going to be out yet because the dev said it was going to be December sometime. I'm anticipating early December. Other people are thinking right before Christmas. Yeah, it looks like we're going to rinse that. Oh, it's a uh, go juice. That's kind of nice. Um, a bit thirsty. Okay. We'll drink this and then we'll... It's not that it's dark, per se. It's just kind of a little dark in here. Uh, we'll take the oats. We'll take that. We'll take all that stuff so that, uh, you know, I just have it. Potato? I said, mm, we'll take the potato. Fine. I know I've got a ton of potatoes back at that farmhouse, so... Yeah. That's always good. We'll take the antiseptic. What's that? Stump remover. More ammo-making stuff, which will have to go back <laughs> to Timberwolf. Okay, back room. And let's kill this. As much good as that is, and another tin of coffee. Is there coffee in here? Darn. Okay. I like microwave coffee. It's already made. This is why I brought the pry bar. Well, not if there's nothing in it. Lame. Nobody needs this anymore. Ugh. I actually am gonna leave those. Uh, kind of not digging it. Nothing? Man, really stupid. Super uber lame. Uh, I'm gonna say these are gonna be filled with carrots and potatoes. Uh, I'm probably gonna actually leave those, so... Eh, again, it may be one of those things for the Dravoy. Like, you know, I come and just bring all that foodstuffs back with me. I mean, this is a great map for that kind of thing. Just kind of set up little uh, collection points. And uh, so when the, I'm able to make a travoy, then I come here, I gather it all up, I haul it all the way back, all in one go. Pretty simple. And I may just end up doing that right now. I may start my collection point here at the community center. Why not? Oh, there's a fleece mittens. Darn. Okay, okay, okay. Let's check in the office here. A book. Eh, we can probably leave that safely. Thompson Family Stew. Oh, yeah. So, we get a first recipe. I think there's nine recipes throughout Great Bear that you can find. Uh, I think I've only ever found two. I think it's this one and maybe the Rancher Stew. More revolver ammo. Man, that would have been nice if it was a rifle. Uh, yeah, the... Uh, Yeah, the rancher stew, the one we found up at uh, Ash Canyon, right? Oh, wait a second. Did we did we grab that one? Hang on a tick. Yeah, the ranger stew. Yeah, that that one. That's what we got at uh, yeah uh, Ash Canyon. So there's the two that I have so far. I'm not entirely sure where the other ones are, but uh, I've never actually went and on a venture to look for them. To be fair, so I'm just I just kind of um kind of not a recipe kind of guy, though there are some that are really good. I just haven't. I, can use this. I could use that. And you know what? I'm going to take all the water. I'm starting to move a lot slower, which means I'm going to have to find a holding point for this stuff. Ooh. Always nice. Look how thin those are. <laughs> They're uber thin. Okay. Anything up there? Yeah. Ooh, if I find my skillet. Hmm. Well, again, we'll uh well, this stuff will come in handy. Yeah, it might actually come in handy. We'll take it with us. It's not very heavy. Um I know there's another thing down here. At least I'm pretty sure there is, but I just have to thirty eight minutes. Will I have enough time? Eh. Hmm. We may have to make time to do it. I just to chop it all up. More pork and beans. We'll take that. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. We're gonna leave that uh, just because we have all that stuff. I may put. I may collect all everything and put it in that trunk. That'd probably be a good idea for that. Tin can. We're gonna put you there. Where? Aha! The skillet. You're not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Um. Yeah. I think. Uh, 
since I'm moving pretty darn slow already, I think what we're going to do is just start plopping some stuff in. So, let's see. What did we pick up that we don't need? Probably that. Uh, the flower. Da, 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 da. The oats. Probably that. Both of those. Mm. Yeah, see, I made quite a few snares. Oh, I made, like, five. Okay, all right. I thought I made more than that. Or less than that, actually. Ooh, let's uh, drop three. Because I really don't need that many. Let's actually drop the fourth one. That's fine. Mm, we'll hang on to... Oh, God. <laughs> I'll have to come down and move that over. There we go. Let's put that there. And we'll put that in there. What we'll actually do here, too, is we're going to drop, like, two liters. That's a good spot for that. Um, let's drop... Oh my goodness, okay. Well, let's do that. I'm going to take the rifle ammo with me. It, it's, it's ammo I've picked up, hasn't it? Um, it's, it doesn't weigh that much, so I'm okay with that. Um, uh, drop the potato. We're going to drop that acorn. I probably just want to drop it on the ground. It's, <laughs> it's kind of useless to me. Lighter fluid, okay. We're going to plop that. Actually, why don't we drop any crappy food we'll drop that let's do that any crappy food minus the soda because i don't want to get sick okay we'll hang on to some of the antibiotics I got these prepped, birch. Oh, actually, I could drop these too. Uh, got prepared rose hips. Well, that's if I want a painkiller. Okay, that's fine. This is better. There we go. All right, so now that we're going to rummage through here, we'll just... No. <laughs> I don't want paper. Most of the stuff I'm finding here is going to be food, so if I find anything at all, to be honest, eh, uh, be prepared for anything. Yeah, that'll take come with me. Nope. And <laughs> so paper and dinner plugs, two things I find in here, worthless, worthless to me now. Uh, we're gonna leave that there. Actually, anything. I find in here that's not needed that's gonna stay where it is I'm actually gonna leave that too I've got birch tea which is probably better than the herbal tea yeah we'll take the cloth always use a cloth nope I forgot about these missed one wow these cabinets are bare bare Uh, we're going to leave that, too. Sounds like I'm going to be leaving pretty much everything here. Which is okay. What's that? Oh, it's a carrot. You know what? We're going to put the carrot on the counter. We'll take the go juice. Never know when I might need it. Doing okay so far. All right. Oh, forgot about these. I'll take it. Uh, we'll keep that here. But that's the second tin we found, which is nice. We're actually going to leave those here, too. I have a lot of matches, and there's no sense in me taking every single one. Actually, let's take a look how many matches I have. Oh, yeah. Pfft, we're fine. Okay. Uh, did I... I pretty much left everything, so we're fine. All right. Onward. And we're just... Pfft, okay. We'll check out... Oh, man, I thought that flag... Every time I see something move, I'm, I'm like, What's this?
Although I may have to stay at the community center for the night, which isn't a bad idea, I mean, by any means. Book, can opener. We'll take it with me because there's a stat for it. I don't know why it's important to me, but... <laughs> I mean, I guess I have a whole crap ton. Ooh. Noise. It's heavy as hell. Ugh, okay. But we're going to take that, too. Everything that we grab is going to go back. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I might actually leave that fish out. Crackers, which are going to... Yeah, we're just going to ransack the houses, take everything. We're not going to leave anything behind. Even the potatoes. Nope, oh, there's salt there. I, I'm i probably going to end up having, like, the a big cook fest. Oh, man. Well, that's not too bad. Um... Probably end up eating that actually. All right, now do the good stuff. Close. Maybe we'll find out. Nope. Fleece gloves or uh, wool gloves, wool mittens. <laughs> I don't know what I need. <laughs> oh my god! Not gonna give me anything. Well, I mean, we're going to take it, but it's not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to wear it. No need. And we'll take the book. Okay. Yes, take all the... Well, that's a lot of water. Two liters, two full liters right there. Cool. And... Well, this stuff will come in handy. Another sewing kit. And sports socks. Okay. That's it for this house. Yeah, yep. Oh, should I uh, take the charcoal too? Take that book. Did I? I looked in here. Okay. Mm, just for the sake of argument, anything under the bed? I don't think so. I'm usually really bad about looking under beds mm, and under shelves. And... Do anything for a drink right now. All right, Astrid, we have a lot. So instead of dropping it all, we'll. Uh, Drink some of it. Okay. Usually there's nothing in here but like paper rolls and so I may not even bother looking in those much more. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's the church. I don't ever think, I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, rifle cartridge. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, scrap metal. Okay, so I stand corrected. <laughs> there's a couple things there. Please, Mitts. Ooh, a soda. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we'll take the book. We'll take the reclaimed wood, too. Why not? Uh, we're not going to break anything down. Car. Truck. Let's check out what's in the car. Maybe in the trunk? Do I have to bust it open? I don't, which means there's probably nothing in it. I was right. Hey, look! Yes, wilderness kitchen. I ooh, I can still read it. Awesome sauce. Uh, and with that being said, oh, that's a that was a big rifle. Do you guys see that? <laughs> that's a big rifle cartridge. It's like, what's that for? Fifty cal? Like load it up. It's like I'll take a moose out from a a full click. Which I believe is a kilometer. Look at that. Man, they just laying ammo everywhere, right? <laughs> it's I'm gonna it's like uh those little pranks you do where you have like little like you get a pack of ducks and you just hide them around the house or little gnomes or something like that and you keep finding them weeks after weeks. It's like somebody just took a box of ammo and said, instead of putting it all in one place, I'm gonna hide one round here and another round here. Let's put one in the mailbox here. Man, a lot of reclaimed wood. It's all going to the community center for sure. And it's getting towards dusk. I might be able to get a fire going and read this. Come in handy. Well, we have to take it with. 
really nothing in here. Okay. Oh, shoot. Where is he? I mean, uh, oh, he's right there. Goody. Well, you're inconsequential to me. All right, you know, bark away. That's fine. Okay. We just have to be at the ready when we come out. Okay, we'll take it. We'll have to cook it up kind of uh, immediately. A storm lantern. Hmm. I might just take it with. Anyway, I don't. I'm gonna get a little too over encumbered, and it's gonna be rough. Luckily, I'm not venturing too far, and yeah, luckily I'm not going too far. Wow, more matches. River oats. Man, I'm gonna make all kinds of cool things. We'll see. We'll see what I can make. What's down there? Flour. Peaches. Make a peach pie. Nope. I have to see what kind of recipes I can make with everything I have. A lot of tomato soup. Can I make some grilled cheese to go along with that? I don't know how the condition it was, but I don't care. <laughs> it's all going back. Probably should have gone back and unloaded before moving on. Uh, yeah, we're just going to take it all. Take everything. You know, I had considered... I had considered moving my base to Thompson's Crossing here uh, for a couple reasons. One, the building is the uh, community center, I'm sorry, because for one, it's a lot bigger. I mean, at least it's like, it's got one big, big room. Um, it's got a fireplace and a stove. I know, I know, the, the farmstead does too. Hopefully this isn't the camel that breaks my back. Oh, it's not, okay. Uh, but it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice area. I like the building. It's relatively open. Yeah, sure, there's wildlife, but there's wildlife around the farmhouse, too, so it's not... Yeah, yeah, I'm moving slow. I don't think there's anything in the church. Mm. Did I miss a room? Oh, I did. There's a front. Uh, I think this is going to slow me down too much if I take that. Uh, shelf. Is there anything on said shelf? There is not. Nope. I'm gonna guess nothing or matches. Ooh, a flashlight. Okay, all right, we'll take the flashlight. I think I already have one somewhere. Is this a Mackinac? It is! Bala. Um, hmm. I will have to figure out what clothes are good for what. I know I'm going out a different door than which I came in. Oh, I came out the side door. We're going to have to go back. I can't. I'm not going to make it all the way to the church just to... Okay. I just need to drop everything off. In that trunk. Now, I'm... I'm... Making a lot of assumptions. As I walk really slowly, I just talk to this. I'm making a lot of assumptions on how much the Travoy can call. Uh, because if it's only something like... 10 kilos or like that, then see, I would like to think it holds something like like another, maybe we'll just say 20 kilos. If it could hold another 20 kilos, that would be brilliant. But if it only hauls like 5 or 10, uh, first of all, myself and a lot in the community are going to be very disappointed because how, what sled only pulls 5 kilos? I think it self weighs 5 kilos. So... You know, there's that. So I'm going to take a best guesstimate. I'm going to say it's going to be able to haul 15 to 20 kilos. And so, but my point is I'm making a lot of assumptions just because it, based on that assumption, I don't know how much gear I have sitting here that I will have to haul back. Because that's really what we're doing is we're going to centralize all this stuff and leave it here. And so when that update comes, then... Obviously, I won't get it right away because I'm like I, I think I previously stated that I think if I were to guess, it's going to be like maple saplings 
and a moose hide is going to be what it's going to take to get in here uh, to make that travoy. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's something more simple like a bear because moose takes like 10 years to cure. <laughs> okay, it takes 10 days, but still seemingly takes forever. All right. We are going to drop you. We're actually going to drop you. Yeah, I think I'm going to start a fire tonight. Ah, yes, I need to take that outside. Wait, what did I drop? Nope, I want to pick that up. <laughs> no, I don't want to drop it. Uh, dusting sulfur needs to go in here. These gloves. Oh my goodness, I got two of these things? Well, yeah, I don't need both of them. That can go in here too. Fleece gloves. Uh, I think I'm going to hang on to this. Well, oof, oof. Okay, that, that's kind of a lot of weight on that stuff. I'm, I'm going to have to kind of figure out what I'm going to take of that, I guess. Okay, potato, potato, potato. Painkillers. Got that fish, which I'm probably going to end up eating. Ah, uh, yes. River oats and salt. We're going to drop both of those. Um, we're actually going to leave that too. Uh, we'll, mm, we're going to take that with me, I think. Mm, leave both of those. Do, 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 do. Leave the coffee. Yes. Oh, yeah. And leave that and that. Oh, definitely that. <laughs> that was awful. Awful, full awful. Uh, we need to cook that up, which is why I need to make a fire. Man, I'm still, I'm still way heavy. Um, I think it might be. Mm, whoa! All right. All right. Well, let's go start a fire. Uh, cook up my meat. While it's cooking, we'll drop. And we'll go outside and drop our fish so that it doesn't go bad. Because uh, the longer I hang on to it, the worse it's going to get. And that other fish will eat. Unless I get super hungry, and then I'll just eat that big old fish. All right. Put you out. Ah, uh, how many of these things do I have? Oh my gosh, I got a lot. Okay, we're going to do that. And why don't we throw on a couple of reclaims? Whoops, whoops, okay. Uh, let's hold off on that a second. I thought I could, um, can I make like a deer deer stew venison stew venison stew broth old mill flour wow huh okay so ah, all right do i have the broth i do so one broth and some mill flour so let's go wander in the dark here apparently Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll try our hand here at, uh, some, uh, recipe making here really quick. Okay, so we're gonna have one broth and, what did I say, mill flour? That's about right. I can't run. I wanted to hurry. Alright. Let's cook this up. Gonna be half of the venison and only a little bit of the flour. That's okay. Cool. 
An hour 17. Wow, that's a long time. Um, if I had another one, I would probably... Food, we're gonna eat the, this fish. Go ahead and eat that. Sweet. Uh, actually, in the meantime, why don't we do this? Why don't we add... Some more reclaimed wood. Um, we're going to take a torch with me this time. Because I'm going to not go that way. We're going to step outside and drop that fish. I, I realize I'm like, mm, you know, I'm not really going to have much. It, yeah. I mean, I could eat it in little bits, but. Go ahead and drop. There we go. Cool. It'll just sit there. But it's three kilos. Like, that is a... Like, you find it and it's like, what in the hell am I carrying this for? Like, this is a big piece of filet. Hello. Man, that's not freaky at all. Okay, so I think we can, uh, let's do this. Let's read our book for... Oh, I brought that to burn. But let's use this and we'll read for an hour. Cool. Sweet. Let's go ahead and eat it. Ooh. Got warming up. Man. I am too tired to think straight. Um, I'm gonna make another one because that'll Oh wait, I need another broth. <laughs> uh I guess I should have anticipated that, or thought about that. Anticipated. No, I'm not anticipating anything. But I do need another. And I guess we'll just have to... Because you can't... As far as I know, you can't warm up stews once they're made. Like... Uh, so I probably would just get the benefit of the calories from it, right? Go ahead and do that. Uh, hour 17, we'll have to add some more to that. Oops, oh well, that's okay. Mm, I think, well, okay, so we got quite a few things to... Got quite a few things here. So, I wonder if I can... I can, okay. Weird. <laughs> like I drop one, now I'm cooking the other one. Well, we'll just, I guess, cook all these up and see where they land us. This should be okay. Okay, this is fine. Oh, because it, there you go. The rest of them are going to be... Okay. And then what we'll probably end up doing... Oh, it's a bed. Good, good, good. I figured. And that was That's the other reason why this is a pretty good place, is that there's a lot of beds. And this, when there's an aurora, this place lights up like a Christmas tree. It's kind of insane. Uh, let's see. The mill flower is what we needed to drop off, because we're not going to need that anymore. Okay. take these things, I guess, right? I guess I... <laughs> I think it said 30 minutes to burn, and I picked it up and moved it. It just says warming. Okay, we're gonna take... How am I looking on... Whoops. See, I'm very close, or I'm getting closer. I don't know how, how many more that is. Another hour on those, eight minutes, 11, nine. Okay, let's just speed up the time here. Um, and I think what I'll end up doing here, you know what, let's do, oh, I can't, I won't, it won't let me read. 
I'll uh, have to. Uh, mm, well, it's uh, past the time till it's done. I'm gonna just take it, pick it up, bring our agua, our lots of agua, Oof. and go to sleep. We'll sleep for like ten hours, right? Sure, that'll that'll be fine. I hear no lights flickering. So we're okay. Hooray, daylight. <sighs> okay. What's my holding? Uh, still, I'm still like seven kilos over, which is more than I want. Uh, so we are going to have to really drop some things. So let's look at our heaviest items here. Really, it's, it's going to be the wood and stuff, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so let's shoot. We're gonna shoot down here. Where did the, uh, it's R. Ah, water, so let's drop, like, what, three kilos? Or three liters? There's gonna be a lot of water in this one, so that helps a little bit. Um... Oh, there it is. We'll take one with us. Okay. Let's take a quick stock on my clothing items. Um, again, we're gonna need... Okay, we're, we're okay on that stuff. Alright, so... Now... Hmm. We're going to see where this takes us. Well, okay, so it's not... I'm not cold, which is kind of surprising. It's morning, but that's okay. So we're going to head up to Pensive Pond and out... out through the Winding River that way. But I do want to check that out. And we'll make our way back to... Mystery Lake. Oh, snow stopped. Or the wind stopped. Which is good. There should be... I think what we're going to do is end up just taking the road up. Up and around. Um, I don't like, I honestly don't like cutting through the woods, uh, mm, it's not that it makes me nervous, it's, I don't know, I mean, I guess I could, but, when you stick to the road, it kind of is a good way to guarantee I know where I'm going, <laughs> I mean, I'm going that away. Um, it's just a. I only hear him. Yeah, we'll just. Here's the road. Or the path. Or whatever it is. I guess it's a road. I mean, it's not like the road, road. It's not paved road, but it's a. It's a path. I think at the uh, Pensive Pond, um, I believe there's a fishing hut up there. And, and also we're going to be looking for books too, so it's, I don't, I think there's like a backpack up there. I think there's a guy up there. There might be a moose up there. I know the moose, there's a moose chance that the moose spawns up there, so that's why it's a little uh, on the uh, sketchy side. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go this way instead. I don't know if, because there's a picnic area 
up through here too. And that's the road. I'm gonna. I mean, I guess I can follow the road, but we're. Let's see if we can. I I'll know it when I see it, kind of thing. <clears throat> I gotta be careful with these uh, steep embankments because I don't have the crampons. And I have a feeling I'm going to get all gung-ho and be like, I can make this climb. No sooner I sprain an ankle. I'm like, darn it. Okay. Oh, there's a picnic area. All right. Because there's a rabbit. There's a couple rabbits here. Mm. Am I going to find anything good here? Yep, a guy. With a kniffy. Thank you, guy with a kniffy. I will probably end up using it at some point. Alrighty, continue on. Uh, basically, we're just going up here. Bunny, I'm not after you. Not yet, anyway. I mean, wait, which side of the rock do I want to go up off of? Well, we'll go this way. Since I'm so indecisive. There's a pond. Before I decide to just hop down. Wait, is that the moose? No, 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 no. Nope, that's the moose. <laughs> yep, there he is. Okay. Mmm. I'm going to go over there, but uh, uh, very much going to avoid him since I don't have the rifle with me. Um, uh, this thing ain't going to help me. I mean, uh, my flare might be better if I'm going to... He's way over there. Unless he comes here... If anything, he's going to wander out onto the, the pond. I'm not going to go over there. I'm going to f go back down to the road and follow it. Is that a wolf? Yep, it sure is. I was, say, I was like, I'm pretty sure that was a wolf. Uh... Why? Let's see if we can scare him. Now we can shoot him, though. Is that going to bring the attention of the moose? Is he going to come trotting over here all curious? Like, what was that? I mean, I know I can throw a rock and kind of spook him. I, I, what am I talking about? I'm not going that way. <laughs> hey, look. Field dressing. Which helps my carcass harvesting. Ooh, a cotton toke. Toke, 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 toke. I don't know. And an emergency stem. Cool. That'll come in handy in case I get battered by the moose for some weird reason. But we're not going to get battered by the moose because I've lost sight of them and I don't want to go looking for them. So we know he spawns there. Um, I wonder if this is one of the areas where the markings don't show up on the trees. Or it wasn't... Or I just didn't come across them because I spotted them from really far away. Which is more likely the case. But one shot kill on that wolf. That was nice. Well, I mean, when you're a level 4, you know, 
expert. Kind of comes with the territory, I guess. With as much ammo as I have now. Well, 45 plus... Well, 50 rounds. Still got 50 rounds. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we could easily do master, level 5 mastery on this one. I guess the question is... <laughs> <laughs> I could try taking down a moose or a bear with a revolver. I'd have to find a high spot, high point to, to shoot them. It is possible to kill them, but geez, does it take a lot of rounds. It does take a lot. But we'll leave this out for now. Because our entrance to the cave is over there. Yep. And we are full up on lantern fuel. Which is nice. Mm. Now I rarely... I think it's down this way. I rarely come this way to get back to that cave. Leading back to... Mystery Lake. But there should be I think I think that's it right there, actually. Yep, it is, because the fallen trees over here. Yeah, I think that's it up there. Or uh yeah, that's up there. So we're we're there. This is this is good. <sighs> I will say, we did have a pretty nice haul awaiting us to go back to our main base. Our regional slash main base. I, you know, in all honesty, I may end up, if I get that Travoy, I may end up, like, bringing everything from the farmhouse to the to the community center. Now that I think, the more and more I think about it. Mm. Oh, come on, get on up here. What are you doing, man? Or lady. All right. A cave we've been in before, I know. Do, 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 do. Nope, stones. Okay. I mean, I guess I could probably pick up some coal while I'm at it. Um, now, what does everybody do? Does anybody, like, collect firewood and coal and all that stuff and, and leave it at your base? Or do you guys just pick it up as you need it kind of thing? See, I'm on the fence about it. It's nice to have a stockpile. Um... Because obviously when I'm moving, I want to pack light. But on the other hand, um, going back to Mystery Lake where I'm actually taking stuff and I may want to pack a little heavier, I suppose. Mm, because I am. <laughs> uh, to put it, yeah, because I am. And in all honesty, I probably should pack a lot lighter considering I know the next place I'm going to to ransack, I'm going to find everything I need there. I think the... When it comes to weight management, one of the biggest misconceptions or the biggest, well, I don't want to say flops or fallops or whatever you want to call it. I think one of the things that there are notions that a lot of us put in our heads is I'm going to need this. You know, that that mantra, I'm going to need this later. I think I even have a T-shirt where <laughs> I think it's a fox holding all kinds of stuff going, I'm going to need this later. I wear it a lot. It's great. Um it's so true, though, because, I mean, I honestly will pick up all kinds of things and, you know, and think to myself, yeah, you know what, I'm going to need this later. Or when I'm dropping stuff and I say, you know what, I'm, I can't sacrifice this, I can't leave this here because what if I need it later? <laughs> Turns out I won't. 
And, you know, so I'm gonna, I think this run might help me practice that a little better. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm packing light. I'm going to be ransacking everything. It's good that I am thinking of my supplies, but it's not like I'm going to be completely without. I just hope I went the right way here. I'm pretty sure I did. Let's turn this off. Okay. I'm going to whip out my gun again. Yeah, I had thought about making a, a video. Uh, okay, good. I'm making a video on weight management and things like that. But truthfully, I wouldn't know how to make one. First of all, second of all, I don't. I wouldn't be practicing what I preach. Not by a long shot. <laughs> so it uh, this way. Uh, so it, you know, how, really the only thing you can do is just, I mean, I can only give suggestions. I try to follow them myself. I, sometimes I'm better at it than other times. Um, uh, mostly it's when I'm headed to a new area, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to need this for the track. I'm going to need this for when I, when I get there, which honestly just isn't true i can take the minimum you know i might be able to take like some food i mean to be fair like i said i'm i'm getting better at it um you know for one thing i left a lot of meat back at uh the farmhouse i left even more meat back at that ash canyon you guys saw all that uh i think most of it was bear meat though moose meat moose meat yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it's like i do leave stuff because I know either you know I'm going to come back to it and it's still going to be okay or it's not going to be okay it's going to go bad and well I mean it's not like there's not going to be an abundance of animals to kill and there's certainly not going to be any lack of food supplies found in buildings and bins and storage containers and people and backpacks etc etc did I, and I'm not so sure I did, did I check out... Whoa! Oh, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah, have, yeah, 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 we, we have. Hello, dead dude. I still see you're here with the knife in your back. I, you know what? I, I think I said it the last time when I come across him. We're gonna leave him. We're gonna leave him here, just as is. I think it'll be... The testament to what happened to him or her. I actually couldn't tell what it was. But at any rate, unless I absolutely need a knife, and maybe that might be the only note I make in my note in my journal is knife in back of guy in Winding River, and I'll remember where that is, and no matter where I am, I will forever <laughs> know that I can pick up the knife out of a dude's back. Because he's frozen, face-planted into the bank of a river. I know I went in here, but I can't remember if I found Vaughn's rifle in here or not. And actually, we're going to kind of go a different... We're not going to go back through the river. We're actually going to go up... You know what? Now that fish looks pretty darn good. I don't think I did. I think I was like, banking on it being here, but it wasn't, and no, it's not okay. That's that's okay. I didn't think it was. I was pretty sure we were here. Um, but what we're going to do... We're actually going to head up. I think. I think this is a path up, right? Uh, let's not spray anything, please. I know I've got bandages, but come on. Okay, cool. So there should be like a... I'm 
trying to think wherever where else Vaughn's rifle could be. I don't know if it's exclusively here or if it's possibly in somewhere else. Mm. But because I've only ever, whenever I found it, I've always been in that cave. Uh, so if it's not there, I'm not a hundred percent hundred percent sure where it is. Ooh. Hmm. Do I want to do anything with that? Let's eat some dog food. Nom 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 nom. Let's drink some water. That should be fine. Um, is that going to be worth it, though? Well, we're going to have to do it with the knife, right? Yeah, I can't do it with... This should be okay. We're going to leave everything else, though. Just do the rest of this then, right? It's gonna make me a smelly mess, but uh well, so be it. Hmm, more birch saplings. You know, let's take these. Um Ooh, yeah, we wanna take them um in case <laughs> in case uh you know future reference. We'll just put it like that. Because if we have the Travoy uh, popping up, we'll, we'll need, we'll need, uh, saplings, and I, I have a feeling we'll need two maple saplings. I'm just, I'm totally making assumptions on this, on, at this point. Watch, it ends up being birch. <laughs> like, that's just, <laughs> it ends up being birch, and I'm like, great. I, I mean, I've got the birch, but I think I made them all into arrow shafts. Uh, the only reason I'm thinking it's Maple is because there's birches used for a lot of other things. Um, and the maples may be more sturdy for that. I would think the birch would be like snap kind of thing. Well, uh, since there's a fire, you know what? It doesn't matter. We're, let's get down. It doesn't matter that I smell. We're, we're just going to smell and shoot everything along the way. It's cool. It's fine. Let's see if I can get down here without hurting myself. No promises. No guarantees. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. I know there's a... I'm looking for the wolf. Is he... He'll be around. Uh, rose hips. I, mm, I've got some prepared, and I think we're okay. I wonder if I can find it at the foot of the dam. You know, I've never actually been to the bottom of the foot of the dam. Uh, at least not, uh, walking here. <laughs> if you catch my drift. A.K.A. I have fallen. <laughs> that was fun. Um, mm, maybe something hidden back here. Maybe not. Nope. Come on. Oh, sorry, guys. Like, whip around like... <laughs> Odd. I figured I would have run into that wolf by now. Or at least seen one of them. What are... Oh, pff, I thought that was a cached box, let's be honest. That would have been very interesting. They're very weird, but... Alright, so I guess there's nothing down here. Which... Uh, kind of missed opportunity, but not unexpected. Alright. Up to the dam. Yeah, 
I'm going to keep this out because, I mean, I, I don't expect him to be all the way up there, but... And that looks like a rabbit. A dead one, but one nonetheless. There's probably not any meat on him at all. That's okay. I have like a kilo and a half of deer. And I suppose I could just cook it up in the barrel in the dam. I'd be warm out of the wind. Um, I should make... I should make the camp office by dark. Uh, maybe. Well, especially if I don't stop to cook. So why don't I do that? I won't stop. We'll just keep going. And we'll uh, make our way to uh, back to the camp office. We aren't going to stay here indefinitely. We are going to move on. Um, I think uh, the next stop, uh, which will be next episode, uh, we'll head out. Hmm. It depends. It really depends. So we're going to put it like this. So if by chance we... Uh, the the up between now between this episode and the next episode the update takes place and we get all the new goodies and all that fun stuff uh the f probably what we're going to end up doing is we're going to do we're going to kind of make a beeline to uh the forsaken airfield maybe maybe uh you know kind of head out that way to do that stuff um and then because there's a couple of good things when you complete the first part. There's the technical balaclava, which would be really cool to have, and the rifle holster, which would be fantastic because it's a it's a slotted item, but um, you know I could use it instead of my ear warmers, and I'd be able to carry my rifle and everywhere, which would be pretty good, at least for the meantime, anyway. And I am gonna take this. Oh shoot! Oh god! It there it is. There it is. The time I shoot. <sighs> I was on auto walk too, and I damn near walked off the dam. <laughs> I jumped. I literally jumped. That scared me so much. <sighs> you know that that saying where, you know, you ever said, thought to yourself, you know, if some people just shouldn't own guns kind of thing? Yeah, I'm that guy. Uh, at least in game. <laughs> Real life, I'm, I'm actually a very responsible gun owner. Yes, I have a gun. Yes, it's legal. But apparently in game, I am extremely irresponsible, trigger happy. Uh, and apparently the guns don't have safeties. Ah, this ravaged You know what, we're going to leave him there. I'm... Uh, just call it like a, a food stash that we'll get at some point when we really need it. But let's, uh, oh, it's empty. Ha ha ha. Okay, in we go. I think, I feel like I checked everything. I didn't even touch this place, did I? <laughs> uh, well, I might have to, in the dam, I might have to do a collection um, point at the front door. Nobody needs this anymore. Tall stuff. We're gonna probably run into that quite a bit. I'm fortunate though that uh, let's uh, grab that. I'm fortunate though that I haven't gone all over the place and I've only made a couple of stashes in a couple of spots. But that pot we're gonna take to and yeah. A flare. Granola. Is there coffee? No. I'm never that lucky. I only ever come across coffee like once in a blue moon. Oh, uh, okay. Whoop, did I... Ah, there is one there. Okay. In we go. I guess I didn't come all the way down here. I think I was... I think I made... I did that on purpose. Nope. Ear warmers. Or ear wraps. Cool. 
sloth and nope. Oof. Hmm. Well, we're going to take it with us and put it at the front door like everything else. Uh, I don't want to have to come back and be like, well, there was that one thing all the way back there that I left behind because I thought it was worthless. Well, yeah, well, we're not going to go that route. Hmm. Okay. I feel like I have a sneeze, so if I do, I apologize. <laughs> I have like that tickle in my nose where I'm like, uh, it's coming, it's coming. Mm, only for it to pass and nothing happens, which is kind of annoying. Tis the season for allergies. Why allergies when it gets cold out? I don't know. Oh, just wait till spring. Now, nah, usually for me, it's it's the summer weed pollen that destroys me. Especially if it hasn't rained in a while and there's that, like... It's just dry. Oof. That's rough. Because rain does help keep the pollen down. Alright. Uh, take a jewel. I'll take it. More lantern fuel. Whoops. Nope. I missed and tried to put it down. Oh, more lantern fuel? My god, I'm gonna have to like drop some of this at the front door. And who wants to take bets on if I'm gonna actually make the camp office by dusk? And by dusk I mean whenever Astrid prompts to say Oh, whoops, I am hungry. Oh boy. Yes, yes. Ooh, we're gonna eat you. Awesome. Cool. That was very nice. I forgot I had I made that extra one. That's true. I, I didn't get a full night's sleep, so... Well, that will be what we do when we get to camp office. Ooh. Now, does anybody know what piece of item is going to be coming up next? I talk about it all the time when I'm passing through here. If this is your first time watching this, I'll just show you. But everybody who has watched will know. Knife! Kniffy, always, right here. Always, always, always. At least as far as I can tell. I don't think I've ever had a run. Now, I, I can't say the same for interloper. I don't know. Well, actually, no. I don't think knives spawn an interloper. So, okay, up to Stalker. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Up to Stalker, it's, uh, that's always there. Yeah, so don't chastise me for misinforming you if you're doing an interloper going, Yo, Starman, you told me wrong. It's not there, bro. I've been like, well, sorry. I don't do interloper. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I am weighed down a lot. I'm gonna have to... Ah, this is where I left off. Everything... Either I took everything or I left some. We're going to make sure because... Uh, empty, 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 empty. Okay. I don't even think I went upstairs. I don't think I looked in... Uh, throughout... I don't think I looked everywhere in here. And I think most of it has to do with the fact that I didn't have a lantern when I came in here. Which is possible. Well, I must have if I left that. Open. So, we're just going to kind of skip this for now. We'll eventually make our way back and go up and look through the offices and the administration level and do all the things during an aurora. You know, ride the elevator all the way to the top. Maybe, if I think about it. I would have to make it a point to do that. As in, I'd have to be in here right now and camp out and do that if it did. And if it didn't, then it's like, well, 
I won't be back here. Well, I mean, I will, because this is a very central point of the map. See, I was going to stop here and cook all that venison, but I think I'm going to not. And I think I'm going to take the train tracks back to the camp office. Mm. Oh my god, if I can ever get back, that'd be fantastic. Did I take everything off you, sir, or did you not have anything? I think I took everything off you. It's kind of like a walk by, like, hey man, I got your things. Eh, excuse me while I auto walk and sip water here. Ooh. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize how dry my throat was. <laughs> All right, back to it. Yeah, we'll we'll make a a pretty big stop here. Um, I may just end up dropping everything as opposed to loading stuff up in lockers and all that fun stuff. Mm. Seem so crazy right now. Oh, those are combat boots. Well, it doesn't matter. We are going to drop some... You know what? First of all, because I'm not, like, doing this with this on. We're going to do this. Okay, so let's do it uh, by category. So... I got those two books, but we'll take back because we'll be reading them. Um, see, I want to take all this wood with me and drop it at the camp office because if I decide to cook, you know, make meat, things like that, I'm going to have it. So that's fine. All this stuff is good. Clothes, we're going to drop. Even the ear warmers. Yeah, we're, we're going to do it like that. Uh, I'm gonna drop you and you. We'll take the rest back. Ah, uh, I have two pots. <laughs> We're gonna have both those flares dropped. Um, let me come back here. We're gonna... Where's my storm lantern? It's gonna be red, yeah. <laughs> Refuel. Yes, yeah, look how much of that I have. I've got a ton. So that was helpful. Um, so when it comes to the lantern fuel, what we're going to do here is we'll have... That should be okay. That should be okay. Still at 52? What the hell am I carrying that's so damn heavy? Mm. And see, this is what I'm talking about with... Because uh, I actually want to get all this stuff back to the camp office. It's kind of my motivation. Yeah, like all this meat. Um, I'll leave it outside and cook it. Yeah, I, this this will be fine. I'm moving... I'm still moving kind of slow, but it's it's still... It's still okay. We're going to drink a soda. Okay. Uh, let's reload here. Put you away, because I can't afford another... Well, I mean, I could. I probably could afford to just randomly shoot, but I don't want to, because uh, that, that's uh, a little silly. That random one just really shocked me. Yep, we're going to move a little slower, but we're warm still. And so it's kind of nice that the cold hasn't been quite a factor, but I, I sense that uh, there's going to be a pretty major blizzard uh, in the near future. 
Now, whether that means it's going to be now or soon. Uh, I mean, it's snowing, the wind's picking up. I'm uh, starting to think that it might be this time. <laughs> it might be here sooner than I think. I'm not terribly concerned, to be honest, but... Um, and we haven't really had a, a bad, bad, bad one yet. At least one that I've been caught in. Mm, I think maybe the worst one that we got caught in was in Ash Canyon, right? Or coming back from killing that moose. I think, I think that was probably the worst one we, we were in. Um, I haven't really been in one since. I'm, you know, when I was reading the books in between episodes, it, uh, there was one that was blustering outside, but I read all night. Like, that was... And then by the time I had the cabin fever risk affliction happen, it was daylight and the sun was out and it was fine. And I spent the rest of my time uh, in the car. So that was easy to take care of. Uh, so I was warm. But we'll see what happens here. Um, yeah, for reading purposes, I may have to find somewhere... Hmm. I may have to find somewhere. Uh, cars are always good because they, they kind of, as long as it's not terribly cold outside, they're, they're actually not that bad. Uh, you don't want to do that, Astrid. I know what happens if you fall asleep right here. You die. You freeze. It's happened. Um... Yeah, to find an outdoor location. Yeah, cars can be relatively warm as long as the ambient air isn't too cold. Uh, if there's like, if it's too cold, uh, now out of the wind, like if it's like the air temperature is too cold, then the car doesn't really help. But um, if it's not terrible, eh, the clothing warmth should be enough to uh, keep it at least level. So you can't sleep in the car, but I still. I, I still recommend to anybody who tries to do that to still do that like two, three hour sleep max bit just in case so you don't wind up freezing to death in a car because you think you're okay and the air temperature just drops too far. It happens. It sneaks up on you and then the next thing you know, you're dead. So you'll find that I will play a lot of things relatively safe in in this run because I do actually want to make it to 758 days. I mean, you know, it's for a couple of reasons. One, because I've never actually made it that long. Uh, I've, you know, played this game up and down, left and right, back and forth, everything in between. But I've never made any long haul run like this. Usually I'm, I do things for a little bit and then I either die or because of something stupid I did. Uh, usually complacency is how I... It's usually my biggest enemy. Uh, complacency meaning, you know, I think I'm okay, therefore I'm not going to be safe about this. For example, sleeping outside. Oh, I've got warm clothes right now. I should be fine. I'll just sleep out here for a little bit. Next thing I know, I'm dead. Because the air temperature got way too cold, even with warm clothes. Uh, so that's why I always periodically look at your temperature when you're hiking around. Even if you think you have very warm clothes, uh, the only thing you really can do to kind of help help with um, doing that is finding a place, maybe lighting a fire. But even then, you have to be careful because if the wind picks up, it'll whatever you threw on that fire, it'll knock it down to 10 minutes. Uh, now, when it comes to fire making, and the wind is blowing, it will only ever be 10 minutes. So you could throw logs, coals, the whole bit on the thing. You'll waste it um, because it'll get knocked back down to 10 minutes uh, as long as that wind blows. So that's why, you know, find shelter before you light a fire, you know, cave, that kind of thing. Or a building. <laughs> and uh, then you're good. Yeah, I'm moving slow. Oh, we're going to be close. 
I didn't think actually think I was going to make it to the camp office by dusk. Now, when I say by dusk, it's, yeah, like I said, when Astrid says uh, it's getting dark or something to that effect. Because we're only at the train derailment. I don't see either of the wolves, which means they're on the other side of it, I, I, I suspect. Hmm. A little bit of heavier snow, but it's still not awful, awful. It's not like the wind's blowing. It ain't blizzard conditions yet. Now, I'm pretty sure I searched through this. Uh, I mean, we'll stop and find out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, because we stopped here. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine. Oh, uh, they over here. <clears throat> <laughs> well. Okay. Oh, they're right there. Oh, well, there's one anyway. I think the other one's off to the left. I know, I smell. You want the meat that's on me. <laughs> Come here, brat. Yep, that was going to take two shots. He was not going to lend up. Or let up because... <clears throat> well, ah, stinky. Look at that. Up top. It's a three-bar smellies. That's right. With every sh every shot I take gives me an extra point to that skill. I have got to be getting close. I mean, to the point where I might go hunting wolves to just get it. Instead of avoiding them. Whoop. Where are you? You're right there. Come here. I knew he was close. There's the third one. I hear two more. There's... Yep, two more right there. Just don't come at me. Well, the one is. I see him. <laughs> All right. Uh... I have to keep an eye out because he'll come. He's right there. Oh, I need to reload. Ha! <laughs> Yep, he'll turn around, and he's going to come at me. Yep. We're just going to actually kind of stand right here. Ah! Whoa, yes. Master Revolver Man. Thank you, wolves, for your contribution to my skills. I am a master of the revolver. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Oh, okay. I thought I heard pitter patter of uh, wolf feet. <laughs> Oh, that wolf's gonna die probably really soon. That's okay. All right, so I'm actually gonna look to see what what we got now with that uh, revolver, revolver, revolver. Here it is. All right, so per use condition degradation reduced by fifty percent. Cool. Aim assist moderate, so I can shoot from the hip. Recoil compensation increased by seventy percent. Struggle effectiveness increased by thirty percent. Oh, 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 so if I use a revolver during a struggle, right, right, right. Five condition per repair action. Okay. Well, that's cool. I'm probably not going to use a revolver much longer. I mean, well, I'm going to try to make some arrow shafts. 
or well, make some arrows. Oh, had I not stopped. <laughs> Okay, had I not been stopped by the wolves. And had I not stopped to go gloat at my own mastery of revolving. So first level five, which is kind of interesting because I would have thought that I would have gotten cooking or harvesting first. But they will soon come. Wait. Do I hear one? Oh, he's right there. And it looks like he went running off. Yeah, it's dark and now it's snowing, which actually kind of makes it a little more difficult to see. I, it's not bad, but I'm. It's kind of hard to focus, and the you have to like. It's kind of like when the snow's falling, like don't focus on the snow falling, and focus what's through the snow. So there's Darmigans. I will eventually try to hunt ptarmigans. I've never actually caught one. I've thrown plenty of stones at them. Uh, never had any luck. I know it's possible. I've seen other people do it. <laughs> I'm just not very good at it, apparently. Alright. Camp office. After dark. It is technically after dark. So, let's take a look at what all I left behind. Lots of scrap metal. Whoa. Cured maple. Sweet. Cured guts. Cool. Hunting knife. I'm going to put you up here. Dusting sulfur. Marine flares. Cans. What was I anticipating to find? <laughs> While we move those over there. Since I... Since I was, uh... Let's see. I'm going to drop... All of these, right there. Cool. Uh, got maple saplings, which we're just gonna drop here. That's cool too. Um, all the wood that I have, which is apparently ah yes, drop drop. We're just gonna just kind of just drop it all. I don't need that. Why did I keep that? I need to drop that. And the coal. Cool. I'm gonna drop that crap. I don't need it. Flour and our cooking skillet. Hooray. And our teas. Interesting. All right, man, I just kind of plop shit on the ground and was like, we're off. <laughs> what? Okay, sneakers, cool. Nothing in there. Books. Wow. Stay on target. Ah, the shooting guide. Two gunsmithing books and another guns, guns, guns. Those are finished. Okay, so we have, this is a finished book. This is not a finished book, and neither is this. Okay, cool. We're gonna drop that, and we're gonna drop this. So we can put them all nice and neat on here, thusly. Because we are gonna mm, eat some food, go to bed. Cool. So I'm gonna have seven books to read. I don't think I'm gonna find another one of these. I probably should just get it over with and read the guns 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 and we'll read all that stuff cool all right well folks i think that is going to do it for this episode um i am going to uh obviously drink some a soda and then i'm gonna drink some water uh much like much like the last one i think uh, what i'm gonna do here is they're gonna be a couple of days i have two pots here fantastic there's going to take a couple of days, read all of those books, probably go out and hunt, and, um, uh, oh, shoot, that's right. Okay, so I'm going to cook up that meat that I have. Uh, that'll be in the meantime. Okay, folks, uh, thanks for joining me on this one. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you all on the next episode of Survival 758. Adios.